Students and teachers are seeking to go back to school after losing classes due to the storms that battered their province. According to the Education Department, Cagayan schools lost 35 learning days due to class suspensions. Over 251,000 of students were affected by the loss of class days. Selected schools in Cagayan are planning to conduct Saturday classes until January 2025 to make up for the class suspensions. Kaya win-win na rin ang, ang sitwasyon doon dahil at least patulungan ng mga bata, makatulong ang mga teachers and at the same time ang, ang DepEd naman ay tinutulungan sila in terms of the resources. Yan ang sinasabi na sana so, may backup, may backup already. Uh, well, let's take a look at talaga normalizing the use of maybe asynchronous and online classes. Uh, Kasi 35 days, kahit no matter how much na habulin mo yan by putting up Saturday classes, uh, you're forcing the student to ano, acceleratedly uh, uh, take in more lessons, more which, is not, information, oh, ano, which uh, is not conducive. Uh, information overload, ikaw. Yeah, Pero conducive. at this point in time, wala naman Kailangan silang ibang... Umabol ibang pupuntahan kundi talaga mag-make up ng classes through Saturday classes eh. Pero yes, so, yun nga, uh, habang ginagawa nila yun, kasi ang importante din, makita din yung mga sa mga schools. Kasi not only in Cagayan, maraming mga uh, typhoon-stricken areas ngayon, yung pati yung school sira. So, paano papasok yung mga estudyante natin if yung ibang yeah. schools sila sira and yung iba, May mga ano pa rin, ah, evacuees na naka, ano, nakastay doon. That's why sa mga pinag-uusapan, di ba, yung mga areas of concern, sana may dedicated already evacuation centers mm -hmm. para Lagi students don't have to suffer every time may bagyo na nagagamit ang area or space nila, di ba? Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't need to be right in the center of the area na baka maapektuhan ma ng bagyo din or whatever calamity may uh, happen, pero at least within the vicinity of their area na malapit-lapit sa homes na safe. Totoo. Oh. So parang uh, the whole year pinag-uusapan natin pa paano makabawi mga estudyante dito sa mga nangyayaring mga suspension of classes. First, early, earlier uh, in the year, di ba, pinag-uusapan natin, sobrang init naman. Di ba? Kasi yeah. kulang sa ventilation yung mga classroom, walang enough water supply, na nahihilo, pati yung mga teachers. Oh. Tapos ngayon naman na tag-ulan, ang problema naman yung baha. Oh, yeah. slide. Pero hindi na, alam mo, hindi na matagal to hindi, hindi na bago. Hindi na bago to sa atin. It's because it's been happening for the last few decades already. At uh, until now, we haven't learned yet how to oh. adjust uh, to issues like this. And yet, may climate change na. Totoo. How do we expect to adjust to climate change if we can't even adjust to regular and, climate uh, occurrences? Totoo. And ngayon din also, pinag-uusapan pa rin, dapat repasuhin, i-review yung mga guidelines when it comes to suspension of classes. Hmm. So, ayun na naman. Until now, na we naman. still, ano, <laughs> hindi pa natin ma-interpret ang guidelines. You know, that, that stemmed out kasi nung ano, nangyari dun sa yung recent typhoon, yung recent yeah. pagyo, si Pepito, na nag-declare yung uh, pag-asa daw ng uh, signal number to dito sa Metro Manila, pero it didn't rain naman. O di, so, at least good, safe yung mga bata. If it didn't rain, hindi mo alam kung lumihis ang bagyo ng konti, may dalang hangin. Mm -hmm. So, let's just go by, ano, the, yung whatever is there uh, yet. Air to the ano, safety. Uh, or air on the side of safety. Oh, side of safety.